And we're live with some Bardowski founder at Million Dollar Party Girl with a brand new episode of Social Girl Live. As promised, you might notice I did not change my hair color. In fact, I have no hair. I know if you've been following my We'll call it my healthy journey. Um, I just finished my second chemo treatment last week and the hair is gone. But guess what? I'm not lying down here, right? We're still going live. We're making it work and having fun with it. So why not? What other better time for me to wear a pink wig than right now, quite frankly. So <laughs> I call it the Gaga, by the way, as in lady, Lady Gaga. Um, all right, so let's get to it. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Uh, Arillis is here. I'm going to be bringing her in in two seconds. She's going to tell you how she sold over $9,200 and booked 24 new parties in the last six weeks. She had a $6,000 May. She said her business has never been better. In fact, it's booming. And it's because she's embracing technology and tapping in to a platform that is now gone mainstream. Who can guess what it is? Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. So she's Zooming. She's Zooming. <laughs> she's got like Zoom party in progress to her family. Like, do not interrupt right now. <laughs> And she's going to be sharing all her secrets with you. So excited. You guys, make sure if you have team members that are struggling, make sure you tell them about this live. We want them to get these tips too. And stick around because for those of you that need more help with social media, I've got a special free trial to my mentoring program. I'm calling it the Summer of Social. And we've got all the training you need to really help you grow your business and live the life of your dreams. So let's bring Arillis in right now. Hey, Arillis. Hi, Lynn, how are you? I'm fabulous. <laughs> love the hair, love it. A little hot. <laughs> hot <amazing>. right now. <laughs> but you know, I talked to you guys about like standing out in the news feed. So maybe this will be a new strategy to just wear a colored wig, who knows, right? <laughs> We'll, we'll see uh, we'll see if we can get as many viewers as possible and uh, totally attribute it to the to the pink wig here um let me make sure we have your name on screen for everybody to see Arilis, i'm gonna let you pronounce your last name because palacios palacios, palacios yes palacios oh, that's how i was gonna do it i'm so proud of myself um and Arillis and I actually go way back. She was a guest speaker for me. I'm trying to think how many years ago that was. I held a live social selling event um, in New Jersey and uh, all about Facebook parties. And Arillis, you were one of my guest speakers. Yes, yes. Remember? Oh my gosh, it's hard to believe. Since Cher was there, that was such mm -hmm. a fun, fun day. And so since then, you've really been embracing technology always i love technology <laughs> right and i know it's a struggle for some mm -hmm. so we're going to talk about a real set up there she's actually in her bedroom and this is the space that she does her zoom parties in so right. you're going to see that hey this is anybody <laughs> we don't care who's in your who's living with you we're going to we're going to talk about how she's making this all work with kids i think um who else is in your house right now uh, my husband and I also have my elderly mother living with me now. So you've got a house full. Yes, yes. And you're making it work. So that's what we got to do. We got to keep on keeping on here, right? Yes, um, absolutely. Make sure you guys put, if you have questions, put them in the comments. So if we have time at the end, we will get to those questions for you. Um, I realize you're celebrating your ninth year in direct sales with Party Life this year, correct? Yes, July. So also my former company, that's why Arillis and I go back so far, because that was the company that I retired from. So I know her well, and she's also a Jersey girl like me. Yes. <laughs> besties. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of bonding happening happens yeah. between. A lot of conferences, trips, a lot of fun. Yes, you guys know how that goes, right? 
Um, and during the daytime, when we're not in quarantine, which they are starting to open up, you're actually a licensed optician. Yes. That's so, what I do. I work retail as a licensed optician. So I sell eyewear. So you've already been juggling full time, you know, yeah. side hustle. <laughs> yes. Kids, mom, husband. Yes. I've been hustling it all. And you're a leader as well. So you're also leading a team. So not right, no, I'm not a leader right now. Well, I'm going to say you are because you're leading <laughs> the way. A lot of my coworkers also believe the same. So <laughs> <laughs> the definition of leadership is not always a title. It's Absolutely. all about influence. And I, I realize I have a feeling with all these parties you're doing and all the people you're meeting, you're just going to naturally start building a team. That's just oh, what yeah. happens, right? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get right to it. So first, um, talk about the Zoom party and how you transitioned. Were you already familiar with Zoom? Was it something new you had to learn? I um I, I knew a little bit of Zoom before having Zoom meetings, so I didn't know about it. Um, however, I never thought of doing a party on Zoom. And you know, when March hit. And everything, everybody started canceling on me little by little. And, you know, I freaked out just like the rest of the world did. And I was just like, oh, well, okay, my business with Party Lights just going to have to go to the back and we're just going to have to ride this off. And I was like, well, you know, I don't know what, I didn't know what to do. And I also was nervous about trying to sell in the new pandemic. You know, everybody's losing their jobs. Everybody's on unemployment. It made everything so scary. And I was afraid to insult my customers, to insult uh, people and try to sell them. But what I was all of a sudden, people started online. And I started getting online orders and more online orders, even from people who wouldn't normally order online. Um, and then I had, um, a customer reach out to me and say, you know what? I want to, I want a party. How can we do a party? I said, well, we could do zoom. And she reached out to me on a Friday. She decided to book it on a Sunday. <laughs> the, whole, and I was like, the whole time schedule is completely changed during this, you know, absolutely. party. Well, you know, it's you know, with home parties. They feel like they need weeks yeah. and with a zoom party, they're ready in a couple of days. And I said, fine, we set it up. And it was like a $800 party. Oh so my goodness. I said, no. yeah, I said, let me up. just go with it. Um, and I, I, I decided to do also bingo parties and my bingo party was very successful over a thousand dollars. And from there I had bookings and then it was just one party after another, after another. And it just grew so much. It's unbelievable. So obviously people responded to it and I feel like yeah because it's such a huge opportunity for us to connect with people where they are, but recreate an in-person experience. You know, that. Yeah, I think what better way than Zoom? To, uh, to be honest with me, I was never a fan of Facebook Live. I did a few parties Facebook Live, but it's very hard when you're, you're you, it's not the same interaction. No. Zoom is like this. We, we can speak. We can talk. I can answer. I don't have to be reading what you're typing. Um, and it's such a great experience. And people have fun. And that's, I think, the success of it all has to do with that. People have fun. They love seeing each other. So, And it's more interactive. I play games. I, I do a lot of different things. Do you find you're following the same flow as an in-home party? Or is it completely different? I basically follow the same flow. Um, it's a lot shorter. Yeah. It's about right. An hour and a half. And, and I'm done. And I think everybody needs to hear that. I didn't know that was going to be your answer, but I'm glad it is. <laughs> because <laughs> for everybody that's thinking, oh, I need to learn something new, how to do a Zoom party, it's exactly what you're doing at an in home party. It's just shorter. <laughs> yes, yes. And, you know, I. For my Zoom parties, and not that anybody has to do with this, and, and this is why I came live from my my you know bedroom. I don't know. How, there you go. This is my setup. This is what I set up. But I use uh, PowerPoint with my Zoom, so mm. I share my screen and I have pictures because it's very hard for you to appreciate that beauty. 
<laughs> Even if I shut off the lights, you can't appreciate it. I have to pick up things and I have to like show them on camera like this and you still do not appreciate the beauty. So what I do on my PowerPoint is I collect pictures of people using it in the real world, lit up, unlit. And I show oh. that on my PowerPoint and that seems to really, really work. Um, they love to see that. All right, so let's get some bullet points for everybody because you're dro dropping some golden nuggets here. <laughs> um, same flow as your in-home party. You're doing all the things, you're selling, you're booking, you're you know looking Thank for you. new consultants, you're playing an interactive game. Mm -hmm. And then using visuals, and I think screen sharing is part of the magic of Zoom in terms of getting results, right? Yes. Getting results. Mm -hmm. So you're using the screen sharing feature. But what you said there is really brilliant. You're not sharing like marketing photos. You're sharing, you're asking customers for real life examples. And right. I think that's so more authentic and so more relatable to people, right? Yes. Yes, and they appreciate those shots because they can really see the beauty of the product in real life. Yeah, exactly. And I'm guessing, do you ask any questions when you're showing those photos? Like, where would you put this in your home? I, I do, and I also do polls. So I do some polls. I'll ask them how they fragrance their home. And then I'll go over, you know, I, I mean, my, my um, PowerPoint keeps me in track. So okay. I feel like sometimes I might get off track, but with my PowerPoint, I have it where I introduce the host, then I go over specials, then I go over um, the host deals of what it is to have a party, then I stop in between and I do a spin the wheel um, kind of thing for people to be able to either, it's a gag or it's a prize, one or the other. Just for so fun. <laughs> it's fun. And, you know, I also create events for everybody for this event to get them ready. And one of my things is um, you uh, I don't do a Google form. I feel sometimes people don't respond to that for me personally. But what I do is I offer tickets and I call it the part to spin the party wheel. And I offer tickets to become a preferred member. I give them tickets to join my VIP group. Um, I'll give them tickets, uh, you know, to call an opportunity call. Okay. So send me a phrase. So all your calls to action are rewarded with this game. And are you playing this throughout the party? I do. So after about maybe four slides or after we talk about four different things, I have a big graphic that says spin the wheel. So then... I usually just go on here and it's not fancy, just spin the wheel. I also have a digital spin the wheel that sometimes I'll use depending on my people and depending okay. on the interaction I have. So that's your call to action. That's what's taking people kind of through that journey and then getting the yes at yes. the end. You're rewarding them and you know, that's called gamification. For those of you that are doing parties, you probably do it all way already in some way. Um, but there needs to be a point at some part of the Zoom party where you find out who are the leads, who wants to buy a book and, and join right. your team. So that need, that's an important element. And I like that you're doing it throughout. So it's not kind of like all of a sudden, okay, <laughs> you know, they're used to it and they probably want to get more tickets by that point, right? Right, right, and I give tickets, you know, like, um, so I make sure that everybody gets a ticket because anybody who joins, as soon as we join Zoom, everybody who joins, they get a ticket. Everybody who shows me a cocktail, they get a ticket. Oh, so fun. if you haven't um, done the other things, which I do mention throughout the party, um, everybody is still in the game. And I also, if somebody shows me a lit candle, they get a ticket. I love it. I love it. And so where are these tickets going? Do you have like a bag on your I desk? have a little bag right here. Okay. And, and I pick them up. I pick out who I'm going to spin for and go from there. Okay. So you're just doing it, ripping off the tickets as you're going. Yeah. I actually went, while they're on, I'll be like, whoo, you just got a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love that cocktail. I'm going to give you two tickets. <laughs> so it literally is a party. 
It is. Right? Don't think because you're in doom. You cannot bring a cocktail to the party. No. Um, so let's back it up a little bit because we've got some great tips here already. Um, getting started, how are you booking the parties? I mean, it started because this person reached out to you and said, I want a party. They did it in two or three days. You know, right. very much like a Facebook party. You don't need a lot of planning. Um, are you booking most of them now from other Zoom parties or are you reaching out to customers as well? I'm doing both. Okay. Um, actually, the twister is that people are reaching out to me. Mm. So that's very interesting. But I do reach out to people. Most of my parties, of course, are coming from Zoom parties. And I do have... You know, I work myself up to booking a party. So uh, in my polls, one of them is if you were to go absolutely nuts and decide to, you know, book your own party, what theme would you pick? So that's one poll. And then I'll say um, you would want to pick a, a party because you want to help out your host. You love your host, all of the above. And then once I do that and I say, OK, we all know why you would want to pick a party. We all know what your theme's going to be. Now, these are my bonus states. Ah. You know, one of these bonus states, you're able to pick out a colored envelope. And whatever prize I have in here is yours at your party. So you've got a little extra kind of pick a date, pick a prize to see right. the deal. And they're booking on the dates that you're already open. So there's no lag time and... I'll reach out to you and then right. they never get back to you. So right. you're getting dates right there in the right. party. And they're picking their dates and then I'll open up right in front of everybody their envelope and tell them what they're going to win at their party. Oh, so fun. Yeah. And um, Tammy's saying, or no, Connie's saying she likes those polls. You're the first person I've heard of that is using polls during their Zoom party. That might be a little bit advanced Zooming. <laughs> they are easy to do. Um, but can you repeat what your polls are so everybody can hear that? Because again, it's all about making it interactive, mm -hmm. but yet helping and guiding people to making that decision to be to do business with you, right? So tell right. us again about your polls. We need to I do, do one. My polls depending on my crowd. Okay. Um, especially if they've already been to a couple of parties. I change up the polls because they've already seen those polls. So one of my polls is getting to know me and I'll say, what have I never done? You know, lit my hair on fire, uh, <laughs> filled wax on the carpet, uh, broken a hurricane before the party, you know, things like that. Just making it fun. And what is not? So then they, they, they vote and I let them know what the answer is. Another poll is, um, you know, if you, what do you think is involved with becoming a consultant for Party Light? And you know, use a clicker, get a have a car, you know, be nice, <laughs> all of the above, things like that. Another so there's multiple choice for those of you that have never used polls. Um, Arellis is talking about the built in feature on Zoom to create a poll, right. and you put it's like multiple choice, and people select the answer. So, how smart that she's making it interactive and fun, using it to tell her story. Right, like what don't you know about me? Um, and also using it for sponsoring to ask those questions of like, what does it, what do you think it takes to get started? So um, polls are pretty easy to, to set up. I'm sure there's a YouTube 12 year old oh, that has so easy. It's created so easy. a tutorial for that for you guys. Yeah. And you know what, Lynn, at first I did not join the paid Zoom, um, I just, kind of played around with the free version mm -hmm. because I wanted to play around to see how easy it was to use. And once I saw that it was easy and I had that first lady say, I want a Zoom party, you know what? I didn't want to be limited to only 30 minutes or 40 minutes. So I said, I'm doing, it's $15. I mean, that yeah. gets paid. I mean, with an $800, $900, $1,000 party, that's paid like this. So, and it's a write-off. So I took the leap as soon as she booked it. And I, you know, I still have my membership. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, if you're doing just, you know, one party a month. Um, but I think just as you have found, the more Zoom parties you do, the more you book, 
Yeah. And, you know, to not have to worry about everybody in the Zoom party getting a message that says, your Zoom party is about to end in five minutes right. <laughs> because you have a and, free account. Yeah. And another thing that I learned is because another fear of mine was, you know, I sell candles. Okay. So how are they going to smell them? You yeah. Know, how are they going to? Well, I, first of all, people who know party light don't even care. Um, they just know it's good quality. They love it. They're going to order. But for those who don't, at the end of my Zoom, I actually go back to the event and I show people how to shop my website. So I go back to the event and I tell them, here's my link. This is what I want you to do. You're going to click. You're going to attach your party to the host. And then I say to them, okay, give me an example. You want the two jars for 40, but you have no idea what Dahlia Day smells like. You click it and you read the description. It will show you exactly all the notes and everything that's in that fragrance. So that's kind of how I get a little bit, you know, and I, I will also tease them and bring a candle and say, smell, smell. <laughs> for fun, yeah, right? We're virtually smelling right now. What does it smell like to you? Yeah. Um, you know, and I always say, look at the home shopping channels. They're selling millions of dollars of whatever product, whoever's watching, whatever product you sell, they're there's obviously not as good. Uh, they're selling a, some kind of version on a home shopping channel and people are buying it without being able to see it, touch it or feel it. And, you know, this is the world we're living in right now. So um, you've got to, as I said, keep on keeping on and, you know, beyond that, just think in the future, now that Zoom is mainstream beyond your backyard, you have no limits to growing yeah. your business. Right. For anyone who has ever said, oh, well, my area is saturated or right. I'm having a hard time, you know, just in this area, they're not into it. Well, there is no area. <laughs> there is no I remind them. That's another thing that I remind them. I go, remember, this is virtual. Invite anybody in the United States. Yeah. Don't do yourself. I mean, I, I just had a party. I had somebody in California, somebody in Virginia, somebody in Maryland. And my thing was, how great is this that we can all get together? We don't even live by each other. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I literally wrote the book on Facebook parties and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of blazed a new trail there. But what I love about Zoom is it is bringing everybody together. Whereas Facebook Live, I felt like was the bridge. Mm -hmm. to bringing that personal, bringing, beaming you into somebody's living room or wherever their phone was. And now Zoom takes it to that next level. And I used to never recommend a Zoom party because most people didn't know how to use it, didn't have the software. You got to download an app, right? But that's not true anymore. <laughs> we all had to learn. We all had to learn. I had a customer who said, Arulis, can you, can you take an order from me? You know, I'm not savvy. And I said, no problem. I'm always here to help you. But, you know, I have a Zoom party tonight. Would you like to join? And she was like, yeah. So afterwards, she goes to me, thank you so much. She joined. She ordered more than she thought she was going to order. And she was like, thank you so much because I've been trying to figure out Zoom because I want to get together with my family. And she was so happy that I had invited her to this event. Oh, was about? She learned, she learned something herself, but um, I hope you guys wrote that down because that's another wisdom bomb that Arilla's just dropped there. You know, as you're booking your Zoom parties and you have customers that are reaching out and maybe want to reorder, um, invite them to one, right? Yep. They don't have to be invited by the hostess. You could right. be helping that hostess get even more sales and, um, uh, get some party crashers <laughs> to your Zoom parties. Absolutely. Um, we're getting a lot of questions on the invite process. So you book the party. Are you still creating a Facebook group, an event? Yeah. Where Where's your hub to so get? I really, I really ask the host. I know people are getting into groups right now. I don't know how I feel about groups. It's much easier to schedule. <laughs> but yeah. most of my people want events. Okay. So I, I actually made up a graphic in Canva. Um, I love my Canva um, on virtual hosting. So I send this graphic to every single host that I have and tell them, these are your tips to make this successful. And I create their event. I tell them I create a graphic for them to invite people via text 
an email if they want uh, with all the information about the party, the virtual party. And then I also create their event on Facebook. Um, and I just, when it's all ready, I send them the link. I said, look it over and start inviting. And I start posting my things that, you know, for them to know, I, I'll post videos, I'll post, you know, I have some warmers that, you know, rotate, which I have here on the side that I also show on my Zoom parties. And I'll post those videos on the event so they can get a visual. And again, it's all about the visual. And they just start joining and I just keep on top of the host and just letting her know, you know, so far I see eight people, you know, our magic number is 10. If you could at least get a minimum of 10, you know, just, you know, give them recognition and say, great job. You already have eight. Let's see if we could get 10, things like that. So it's pretty much exactly what's in my book. Yep. <laughs> Not it's, whole coaching. it's whole coaching, but you're doing virtually. That's yeah. It's the same thing as a Facebook party, except you're meeting on Zoom during that date and time. Instead right. of you going live into the events, which you might have been doing before, some of you might be doing that in a group, you're meeting on Zoom. Otherwise, right. same process. Is the event on your business page or personal? Because I know everybody personal. wants to do that. Personal. personal. Okay. Yeah. Which actually is totally cool because you're not actually selling. Right. Right. It literally is an event. Like right. that's the purpose of it. So I'm assuming you and your host are um, co hosts. Co -host. Okay. Yeah. So personal profile. It literally is an invitation to meet date and time. Right. And then you're putting the Zoom link right in that event. That's how they find it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Once we start getting closer, I will put in the Zoom event and I will mention to them that this is the event. And I still put in the meeting ID because even though all they have to do is click it, some people ask me for the meeting ID. So I've just put in the meeting ID and I tell them that I'm going to pin it to the top so that they can find it the night of the event. But I don't do it too far in advance only because I feel people just ignore it. Um, yeah. On my event, I also show graphics on how to join Zoom um, via phone, how to join Zoom via a computer. And I also um, found a nice tutorial uh, from an elderly couple showing them how to use Zoom. So I put <laughs> that on my event as well. <laughs> so you're tapping into other resources to make it all work, make it easy for people. And like you said, so many have already figured it out. But, right. you know, important for those that haven't, you know, have those tutorials. If you don't have one, as I said, there's a 12 year old on YouTube that has made one. <laughs> and then the, the great thing is, too, um, you know, I have some people that are not on Facebook. So yeah. I can take my Zoom link and share it with my host who shares it with that person. They don't need, that's the beauty of it. They don't need to be on Facebook to join this event. Yeah. I mean, the event is literally just kind of like a hub for people to go to date and time. It literally is all the action is happening in Zoom. So right. it just helps it make it easier to find. And I'm assuming that event is private, just the host is the guest. Yes, exactly. Yes. Also because, you know, the Zoom, I don't, I don't, I personally do not put a password because I just feel people get confused when I do that. So by keeping it a private event, I'm not showing the world that Zoom link. Yeah, exactly. And for those of you that, you know, are video savvy, honestly, you could create, the more you're in your own videos, the better, the more people are hearing your voice, you know, for building the, the know, like, and trust factor, you could easily create a screenshot um, which is probably what you did, Aurelis, and put that in as like a little how-to or just take your phone. You know, this is really low tech, <laughs> but I used to do this to do to shopping tutorials. Take your phone and just turn it, you know, right. if you have a desktop and do a tutorial. Like here's how you join a Zoom party, you know? Um, so, you know, I know Aurelis has created all these tools and we need to honor her that she has done the work and now you guys need to do the work to do it for yourself <laughs> um so a, a lot of people were asking about your bingo and for those of you that watched um as soon as we kind of went into quarantine i did a whole training on how to have more fun game nights um with your customers that would keep you connected 
and still generate business. And mm -hmm. so, you know, you're again, you've made this your own and you're hosting a monthly bingo night. And is anybody to invite it to this or is there still a host? I actually created, it could be a host. Okay. I, I do in my theme polls, one of my parties is a bingo party. So um, it could be a host. Right now I haven't had any host pick me up on a bingo party, but um, I do one monthly and I I actually created a group for bingo. And oh, it's fun. Really a relatives party like bingo group. And whoever is interested in that uh, will actually join the group. And I give raffle tickets if they bring in anyone who it's all about the raffle tickets. They love <laughs> raffle tickets. Um, if anybody refers anybody to the group who joins bingo. Um, so I have a lot of people referring and bringing friends in to play bingo. And that group is just to let them know when the next bingo is. And then just keeping them in track with, okay, I'm mailing out a couple of more bingo cards. Um, all righty, you know, who else? We have a week left, you know, things like that. So this will be, June 16th will be my third bingo that I do. Um, and, you know, even though it's a bingo, I still do. I mean, I have a bingo caller that I use online. I have... Um, uh, I also, it, it's my PowerPoint. Um, I show prizes on my PowerPoint, what they're going to win for each game. I go over also joining the business. I still do it like a party. So you're still covering the key thing. Everything. Buying, yeah. booking, joining. Even though it's bingo, yes, I still do all that. Yeah. That's how people order. Yeah. And maybe we'll save that for another topic because that's a whole nother yeah. <laughs> thing. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of you guys are doing doing bingo parties during this quarantine time and also have been ha having great results with it. Okay. Um, and okay. you know what I'll do? I'll put the link. I did a whole Facebook Live about it. Um, I'll put the link above my head or below my head, wherever you guys <laughs> see it, so that you can refer to that prior training I did about it. Um, and then of course you can make it your own. You know, I know a lot of direct sellers are, are doing that as well. Um, a smart lead funnel to create a Facebook group for the people that want to play bingo. Right. Yeah. Super smart. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to open it up for a couple questions because we're at the bottom of the half hour here. And I also shared with you guys, I am going to have something special for people watching tonight. So this summer is, we're calling it the summer of social. And I'm bringing out the best of all the social selling training you need to really lock your business virtually. There's never been a more important time to learn these things and mm -hmm. up your social selling game. So for those of you that want to be a part of my mentoring program, it is members only. But if you comment with the word social, get it? Social. <laughs> um, my Limbot will send you a 30 day promo code from her to you. And we have everything from how to tell your story, which is an important part of selling virtually. You need to be able to communicate. And I think it's so fun how Aurelis is even using polls and, and interactive games to do that. So how to tell your story how to build a booming Facebook group. It's all about Facebook groups. You guys really need to learn that. We're doing video marketing, how to rock video, booking a full set uh, calendar this summer, and how to generate leads on LinkedIn. So this is all coming up starting now, either live or watch it on demand for members only. So you guys can get that. Um, let me know for those of you that have typed in social, let me know if Lynnbot is working, <laughs> doing her thing. All right, now let's look at some questions because we have quite a few here. Um, Karen said, "This is an this was an awesome training. Yay! Thank you, Karen. I forgot I still had that little ticker thing <sighs> going on the bottom. And by the way, for our YouTube viewers, we're live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Let us know if you're here watching on YouTube. We appreciate you guys." for tuning in um, as well. Anne is saying, Arillus is the best. <laughs> uh, 
I don't realize you were probably one of the first members of, of my mentoring program. I'm trying to. Oh my God. Probably. Yeah. I think it's been like five years. Um, Pam saying need to replay and take notes. Yes. Lots of good nuggets there. Dana saying great idea. Good idea to do a bingo group. Um, let's see. Carol Lee is saying you two are awesome. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Connie's asking, have you ever used digital bingo cards? And I know you said you did have a few resources for, for people. I do. I don't use the digital cards only because, um, you know, I was reading up on it. You know, I love technology, but I had one place that could do it. I couldn't get in touch with them. There was no resource for me to call them or email them. And I did not like that. So mm -hmm. my question was, I have people sometimes that get three to four cards for bingo. So I was just wondering, are these cards all going to be different? Are these cards, mm -hmm. you know, that when am I going to have to send 30 different links? So I had a lot of questions and no one there to answer it. And I was afraid if something happened with the technology that, you know, I always have a plan. I have a, a bingo caller that I use online. I already found a problem with one and I had to find another. But you know what? I keep right here, plan B, bingo cards. <laughs> always have a backup when it comes to virtual, right? But yeah. If it doesn't work, I, I always have plan B that I can just use bingo cards. So you use physical cards that yeah. you send out to people. I found a site um, called wholesalebingosupplies.com and I use books. Each book is color coded and it has 10 games. I bought 600 books for like 30 Ooh. bucks. Oh, wow. First thing I thought you were going to say. Like, got it in a week. Okay. So $13. We yeah. can do that. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you for sharing that resource. Dell is saying, and this is a question I get all the time. Some people do, some people don't. She's saying, could you record the Zoom party to share it with the ones who cannot attend? Um, I don't. Okay. You, know, you couldn't attend. Come, come to the next one. Um, yeah. I just feel it. Sometimes it's, it's. Um, you have to save it to the cloud, or and if you save it to your computer, it takes so long. So I don't save. I don't record them. Yeah, and honestly, that's. I was obviously, you know, going to wait to hear what you had to say, but that is my advice as well. Um, I feel like people will not be as authentic. Right. If they know it's being recorded, and you're going to miss opportunities, you're going to miss that. You know, I mean, imagine like recording a, an in-home party and putting it on Facebook. Like the guests would not be the same. Right. right. They would not be themselves. And yeah, like Gorilla said, invite them to the next one if they missed it or encourage them to book their own. Right. That's what I do. I encourage them to, you know, place an order to help their, their friend. And then, you know, why don't you consider having your own social? Yeah, exactly. You missed it. We'll bring it to you. Right. right? Um, and Arilla, since you are in my mentoring program, maybe you'll want to share your Zoom tutorial with our members. That could be a little secret that they get. Okay. Or whatever that one you found with the older couple. I think that would be. Oh, okay. Yeah. The YouTube. The YouTube. I think it would be cute because it's probably done, you know. And, you know, they do such a it's not like an old couple. They might be maybe, you know, maybe 10 years older than me. <laughs> but it's nice that it's not coming from a really young person. You know, I, I thought that was great. Yeah, it's relatable. Yes. It's relatable. Um, Char's asking, what about uh, messenger rooms? Are you using that at all? What I, what I don't, yes. I, I mean, I have messenger rooms, I, but I don't have it for hosts. The reason why is I like my screen share. I want to yeah. share my, my, my pictures. I want to share the excitement of seeing the big thing that says spin the wheel. And I'm like, Woo who's excited? You know, I, I like my polls. I can't do that in a room. So yeah. too many features there that are helping you get all the results. And for those of you that missed it, Arilis has sold over $9,200 in the last six weeks and booked 24 new parties. I know she's also working with three new consultant leads. Mm -hmm in six weeks. 
And, I, and that's not counting my online sales that have been over 2000. Yeah. So like what business problem? <laughs> <laughs> what, quarantine? <laughs> what quarantine? You're like, we are rocking and rolling over here. Um, Kathy Ellis is saying 10 is a strong number because you focus on host coaching for 10. And yes, I'm a big fan of that too. It's super easy. Like who are your top 10 people, right? Um, easy to train on. So a lot of these are just the same basics that we say for everything else. You're just meeting on Zoom instead. Um, one last thing about the screen sharing, because I feel like screen sharing is the secret ingredient to mm -hmm. a Zoom party that leads to the results, right? You're using it to share authentic photos. You also mentioned that at the end, mm -hmm. you talk about the event and you show them where to find the shopping links. Is that a screen share? It is. Uh-huh. I is. thought so. <laughs> and I tell them all that once I'm done with my presentation and we're done with the games, that don't leave because I'm going to show you how to shop my catalog and where to find all the specials. So I take them right back to the event so that they know where I posted that link. Now, um, you know, Party Light's a little different where you have to search for a host. You don't just get a link. I've used the bit.ly and I've used the tiny URL links to shorten it, but they break and they can break. So yeah. I want to teach them. I want them to learn my website, one. And two, I want to make sure that they know what they're doing. So I, as soon as I'm done, I'll say, okay, come on guys, let's, you're all going to go with me to go shopping. And this is what you're going to do. And I screen share. I make sure that my, my uh, Facebook event for that host is in my background so that I can screen share it. Um, and I screen share and I show them, you see this post, there's my link, click it. And I go step by step. Now you've reached my, my, um, my website now, how do you attach your order to your host so that she gets all the credit? This is what you're going to do. And I teach them. And then I'll say, um, hey, Marianne, what was it that you saw that you really liked? Let's see. Okay. And what else did you want? You're going to need some three wick jars, right? So let's see. This is where you would find the three wicks. Oh, and you guys like the outdoor sticks that are on sale. Oh, you go here. And this is where you find the sales. So, and then I also show them how. They don't have to worry about the math. I then go to the cart and show them, look, don't worry about the math. If you're doing everything correctly and you're ordering your sales, the computer figures it out for you. So don't worry. And they're all like, oh, good. So you're literally screen sharing how to add to your cart and yeah. shop this party. And yeah. that boom, everybody just give her like a boom right now because that is probably the reason if you've tried Zoom parties and you're not getting results, there needs to be a point where you have those important calls to actions. Um, just to recap, Aurelis is using tickets and the spinning wheel to focus on interaction and um, the important things that she wants guests to do during the party, like book a party, ask questions about her job. Uh, join our VIP Facebook group, all those things. But then at the end, it's okay, let's screen share one more time and help you shop. So and what I love about that, um, Lynn, is that they actually get all into it. And <laughs> they're there and they're like, oh, well, what's that thing that you showed before? Where would I find that? And okay, let's go here. And oh, and you know, they just get so into it. And some of them are like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm doing it now, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're probably following along on their phone, yeah. right? Like typing it in as yeah. you're talking. Do you typically see, so we'll, we'll make this the last question. Everybody's giving you a boom, by the way. I told them <laughs> in the comments, we're like, boom. You should have been like, mic drop. <laughs> I hope you guys are learning a ton here right now. Um, is there, do you find most of your results come within that first 30 minutes? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. So and then I also in my screen share show them where my phone number is on my event, show them how they can get in touch with me by email. I tell them, listen, I'm a night owl. You know, I know the party's nine o'clock. It ended. Um, call me. I'm up, I'm up till one o'clock in the morning. I'm a night owl. You have any questions? And I have people, they'll start texting me and I start having more conversations with them. 
you know? Um, so all of that I show on it. So you make sure that the action happens and then people have a way to get a hold of you. I mean, it makes it so much easier when you get those results that same night versus you then having to go track everybody down afterwards, right? So um, Kim is saying, boom, great training. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Arellis. This has been fun. I mean, we could go on and on and on, but you guys, I hope you took notes. Remember, this is the same thing that Arellis was doing at her in-home party. She's just translating it online. It's really kind of a combination of a Facebook party and an in-home, right? I'm not traveling. I don't have to carry my bags. <laughs> yeah. I know you said you're never leaving quarantine. That's awesome. <laughs> Arellis, where can people find you? Because I know they're, they're, they're going to want to find you. Where can they find um, you? Um, I have my Facebook business page, um, Arellis's Heavenly Sense. All right. Let's put this on the screen here. Arellis's with two S's. Uh, no, one S apo apostrophe S. I mean, ap one S apostrophe, heavenly sense. Arilla says heavenly sense. So you can, that's your business page. Right. Um, and on Instagram also uh, under Arilla's Palacios, at Arilla's Palacios. Which is the name everybody sees on the screen right there. So let's show and that. My regular, my, oh, it's without the S. The la the second S, no no second S. Okay, we'll get it together. Yeah, and um and then you can find me on regular Facebook, Arillas Palacios Nistler. Yes, and I'll make sure we tag you. Um, you know, again for our mentoring members, uh, Arillas will put that fun YouTube video. I mean, YouTube is a great resource when you need, when you need tutorials to learn all the things. Um, you know, take some time to learn it if if this is all, you know, kind of new waters for you. What better time? <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, I never used PowerPoint before, ever, wow. ever, ever, ever. And yeah. it, it's so easy. Do not be afraid, just do it, play with it. And now uh, every, every party, all I have to do is change the, the front one. I have it ready for every single party. And I, I put videos on my PowerPoint. Who knew? What? I don't even yes. do that. <laughs> I put videos on my PowerPoint to show uh, merchandise. Yes, I love it. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this is a whole interactive thing you have going on. It's like multimedia. So, <laughs> yes. Embrace it. I know technology sometimes can give you a headache. But as I said, you know, you guys are business people, and as business people, if I can go live with a pink wig, <laughs> we can for chemo. All right, you guys can figure out these things. And me without nails, and with, and I needing a haircut, <laughs> just do it. Yeah, I mean, it's just quarantine hair. Although that's it, it is opening back up in New Jersey. Like everything has been shut down so long compared yeah. to other parts of the country. I feel like we're at a whole different experience than most people. <laughs> They're like, what are they talking about? Quarantine hair. Got my hair cut last week. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you that are watching and didn't take notes, this available, this is available for replay anytime. It will be here on my million dollar party girl Facebook page. If you really love these tips and you want to share them with your team, host the watch party. It's the easiest way to repurpose other people's content. Schedule it, time, date, so your team members are there for it. And then I would have a follow-up with you and your team of, uh, you know, creating the ultimate Zoom party. And then do a Zoom party booking blitz. Oh, my gosh. How fun would that be? So much fun. Right? You've got to have the training first and then the action to go with it. If they're separate, nothing happens, right? If people don't use it, they lose it. So I'm going to challenge all of you guys to get booking and get Zooming so you can put these ideas to work for you. Thank you so much, Arellas. Thank you, Lynn, for having me. Congratulations. I'm so excited to hear about your success. Keep Thank you on zooming girlfriend. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. I'm already. It's only what June 10th. I'm already at 2,500 for June. Oh my gosh. How many parties do you have coming up? Like in the next, I have eight left, eight left for this month. And you've already sold $2,500. Yep. Woo.
Are you doing like, would you say like three a week? It sounds like. Um, yeah. And I'm booking a lot of weekday parties too, which is great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, weekdays, weekends, I'm probably doing maybe it'll depend. I take whatever dates they want. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got your pick a date, pick a prize. So that helps you. Right. Get, so get I that. already know my meetings and stuff like that. Yeah. Help, helps you get that action. Oh, here's a good little, we'll end on Connie's little nugget here. Training without action is just trivia. <laughs> That's what so I meant. True. That's what I meant, Connie. All right. Thanks, Aurelis. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.